from Studio 3 at Buzz TV. It's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome into another Up Close and Personal here on The Horse's Mouth on Buzz TV. Back at the bar, of course, at Tommy Max. We're talking sushi this time around. The show brought to you by our friends at the Southern Grill down there on the South Bank and also over at Goodfellas Cigar Lounge and Spirits right there on St. John's Bluff Road. My guest is Will Drakus. He's from Han Sushi Catering. Let's welcome him in to the show. Will, how are you, man? Good, Tom. How Good to here? see you, brother. Definitely. Got Good the to see Jag you well, gear yeah. uh, all Got decked it. out. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, man. Congrats. 20 years in the sushi business. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been 20 years. It's been a few years. So, you know, how I did you start? Because I'm curious. I, well, mean, love, I love sushi. We're going to sushi there's a, forever. There's a place called Kabuki Japanese Steakhouse in Amelia Island. I okay. just started there as a dishwasher. And then they're like, well, this guy is really good at doing stuff with his hands. So they put me into the sushi. And I just no did kidding. it there for 12 years straight. Then after that, I decided to open my own place. Didn't work out. This okay. is my second time around. All right. Opening my place. I worked with the Jags for, what, six years? Braves. Yeah. I've done Tokyo Olympics. I work with PGA. Dude. So I've been no all kidding. over the place. So you, you you didn't make it with a brick and mortar. No, not and right And then away. you regroup, yes. figure it out, and here we are. And now what I do that is, is like, great. it's more like mobile. Like so I'll come to yeah. the whatever venue, yeah. anywhere around the country, mostly here in Jacksonville, St. Okay. Augustine, Amelia Island yep. area. So we just set up a, a pop-up venue and just make sushi for four hours for people and just blow their minds. All right. So <laughs> how long? Because uh, I've I heard this way back when. Good friends of mine that were are I don't know if they're still. I haven't seen them in forever. But Ichiban mm-hmm. in Jack's Beach, my friend George. Yes. He would. I'd sit in front of him. He'd set me up with a ton of sushi, and he's like, "Yeah, in, in Japan, you got it's seven years." So of yeah, training. Ten years it took me to perfect the rice. Okay. Ten years. The rice. Just the rice. Just what? right. No joke. It's like it, there's like you have to wash it a certain way. You have to let no it drain kidding. a certain way. It's just wow. understanding. You have to cook in so many different pots. Okay. To understand how to cook perfect rice every yeah. time. So yeah. That's a very big part of it. And then when it comes to cutting fish, that took me 12, 13 years Did to it get really? perfect, perfect. How many slices on the fingers? Seriously? Oh, man, I can't count. Right. <laughs> I've got a couple of good ones. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Nothing like bloody sushi. Yeah, right? well, no, please, you know, anyway. you just, <laughs> yeah, that, at that point, you have to stop. But most no, of the time, right. that happens during prep time. So okay. it doesn't really happen during cutting rolls and nigiri right. and that kind of thing. All right, do you have a favorite sushi spot in town? And you might have more than one. I mean, I, I honestly don't know. I, yeah. don't, I don't want to say. You don't even have There's, time. Yeah, it's not even about that. It's We order our stuff direct from Japan, and the okay. quality is just, you know, yep. it's hard to compare quality to quality. You know, like okay. they're, they're having to order stuff that they have to serve seven days a week on a menu. Right. We order direct. We're gonna serve it all one time. Gotcha. So we had the yeah. freshest Keep it that fresh. you can get. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, how's that with the the supply chain? All that is that a problem or not? Um, not for me. Fish, I mean, no while deal. I was in Tokyo, I made connections to the Toyosa Fish Market. Okay, so cool. I got a good little hookup cool. over there. So yeah, you have another business too, yes. right? That centers around sh- your sh- oh shrimps. Yeah, shrimp sauce. So it's like the this Number is our two, version. Baby. This is the original version of like yum sauce or whatever you want yeah, to say. Yeah, so yeah, we've yeah. got four mm-hmm. other sauces we're gonna be putting out. We'll be we're working on getting into Publix, Kroger's. All right. We're already um, like steps away from being in Lowe's food store in North Carolina, so we're working on kind of expanding and putting the sauce out there for people to try. You know, it's it, one of the first. It's crazy. First times I've been at a sushi joint. This is back in '95. Like I'd never. You're coming from Chicago. Never went yeah. to one. And uh, my buddy, he grabs a bowl of rice and takes the shrimp sauce and. Oh, it's delicious. And I was it? like, what is that? He's like, oh, you got to try it, Tommy. And I tried. I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, that's, it was, that's not even the meal. Like, it was, it, I mean, I've, from what I've done on the origins, it was invented yeah. in 1971 by a Korean guy. And then the guy who, I guess, invented it, I was working with his one of his mentorees. Okay. So he taught me the recipe. And this is a more this is actually a vegan and gluten-free recipe. Oh, okay, cool. So we have a non-vegan yeah. that we're working on as well. But okay. um, this one we decided to go out first because it hits all you know all points and it still tastes delicious. Okay. What's your what's your favorite fish to eat? My favorite well, fish sushi wise. Just um, curious what yours would I be. guess I'd say chemo dai. Okay, what's chemo dai is like a has like a big eye. It's, it's really soft. It's kind of it's really unique. You have okay. to get it from Japan, okay. but it's very delicious, very delicate. Okay. How about one with a name I'd recognize? Um, I guess I would say like white tuna, coral um, tuna, like the belly, called? the belly of the tuna. Oh, okay. Yeah, tuna. yeah, yeah. That is. So good we get stuff. that in. It's really, really delicious. Yeah, absolutely. We'll, like torch it, put some caviar and like white truffles or right. whatever we got going on. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, so how can people find you as we wrap up? Um, here? you can go on either hansushicatering.com. Okay. Or you can go to uh, my Facebook. 
or Instagram, which is Sushi Wheel 25. Okay. Pretty much anything. If you Google Sushi Wheel 25, you'll find any kind of information about it. Okay. Me. And as far as events are concerned, is there a small, like what's we, too small? I mean, our lowest is 10 people. That's okay. our minimum. Right. Anything above 10 people. And if you have less than 10 people, if you pay for 10 people, we'll still come. Okay, great. And, you know, awesome. typical price is around 1500 to Twenty five hundred. Okay. So that's per ten people. For, per ten people. Okay. Yes. Cool, it depends right? on what they want to order. Yeah. Right. You know, like I said, we're getting direct from Japan. The Dude, price is awesome. a little higher, but it's worth it. And the, our Jags are one of your clients. Jags are one of my clients. That's I work, cool. You know, I do a lot of stuff for Mr. Khan and his friends. Yeah, I've yeah. been on the yacht a few times. Uh oh. Um, I do take your shoes off. Patrick from Dream Finders. You I have take to care take, of Oh, I know Patrick. Yeah. You do have people. to take your shoes off. You, you know. Take your shoes off. <laughs> I've only been on. I have to carry them with me down to the galley. You got to take your shoes off. Like all right, you got to take your shoes off. I get it. I get it. Got marble floor. You know what I'm. Scuffed. That's how you can tell. <laughs> that's right. Well, it's great, great to have you, man. Thank you, Tom. Congratulations. Thank that's you. all I love, man. I appreciate that's it. That's awesome. Hey, I tell you what, you know what's a great lesson? Your first time, your first try, your first whatever may not work out the way you think it's gonna or how you want it to, but take a step back, you brush yourself off, you figure it out, and get up and try again. Get up and try again. <laughs> Never Thank give you, up. Will. That's for sure. Never give up. We love it right here. All entrepreneurs are welcome at this bar. We love hearing from you. Hey, if you like these kind of conversations, see more at IWantABuzz.com. Until next time, stay safe and be cool out there. We'll see you right here on The Horse's Mouth. Cheers.